The most important thing you can do when using a password manager is to create a master password that is very strong, very long. So I want to show you how to do that. Uh, when people think of password, they usually think of this right here where they swap an A for an at sign, add a number at the end and a special character. Don't do that. That's bad because everybody does it. That's predictable. You don't want to be predictable. What you want to do is you want to create something that is unique something that you never used before that's very important and something you'll only use with your password manager so once you use this password you cannot use it anywhere else then it needs to be long that's the second most important thing so anything over 14 characters long the longer the better and not predictable the easy way to do this uh, is to think of a, uh, a sentence that doesn't make sense. It's important that you use a sentence that doesn't make sense because if you use a sentence that can be found like in a book or Google, if you can find it, so can a hacker. So you, you want a sentence that doesn't make sense. It, it, the funnier, you, the better because it's easy to remember or just something that doesn't make any sense. That's what you want to go for. So here are some examples. Ever seen a bagel drive a daisy with a question mark at the end? Now you could have done like, you ever seen a bagel drive a taxi? Uh, not ideal because I mean, taxi driving as predictable. You, you, people will expect to drive a taxi or a car or a truck, but you ever seen a daisy drive? you ever seen a bagel drive a daisy? That makes no sense at all. That's why it's perfect. Uh, then you got still so got a bulldozer made of felt tip lobsters. Nowhere on earth has anyone ever uttered those words except for just right now. So that's perfect. <laughs> And the saxophone trophy runs on jello. It makes no sense, but it's easy to remember, easy to type. It's perfect. So, uh, sentences are naturally long, easy to remember. That's important. Uh, can contain special characters, like a, like the space right there. That's a, technically a special character. And like you know, you got these special characters there, like question marks and a period. Most sentences end with a period. That's you already got. Uh, <laughs> you already got a special character there. Uh, you can also put numbers in there too, like you meet at 2 a.m. Just don't be predictable. Like, don't put your child's name and picking them up at daycare at 2 a.m. That's predictable. That's don't want that. Don't pick up Stanley at the daycare at 2 a.m. 2 p.m. I mean, that's don't do that because everybody else will be doing that. You want the sentence that doesn't make sense. It's best to leave out pets. It's best to leave the uh, kids and family members' names because that's predictable. So you want it to be uh, not predictable. And they're probably asking, well, how do I come up with these? Because you don't want to come up with these off the top of your head because you'll pick out stapler or your kid's name. Don't do that. that you, you want something like a computer to help you with this. And what I like to do is use KeyPass XC. That little generate button at the top right there. And you can cycle through all of them. You can go to uh, keypassxc.org. And you can find the download button. Uh, if you're prompted, just choose the portable 64-bit. That will work for like most people. Um, but any of these options, whatever will work, will work fine. That's all the same, basically. Um, but choose six, uh, portable 64-bit if you don't know which one to click. And just click on the portable zip archive and download it. You can also do the MSI installer. It's just more traditional. Install the program if you're used to that for Windows. You have Linux. You have a little bit simpler. And Mac OS, it's a little bit simpler, too. Just choose a DMG installer. You do have the option of going to like Google and type in a random word generator I don't like this like for example this one it's not secure anymore it usually is and you can cycle through but you don't know if they're copying or monitoring what you do there you know your IP address I, it's, I don't I don't like doing that. I like to download the actual something on my computer and generate these words then just go through here and pick out one I want um, let's just generate a couple and just be random with it kind of be, just be weird be kind of, you can be, it's okay to be funny too like my awards for scuba diving evaporated and so that's used to evaporate and awards just think of these things off the top of your head just just find the one you like something that's easy for you to spell something that's easy for you to type in and you go through and choose out the ones you want and at the last stress says it's easy to hide in other writings now keep in mind it's security by obscurity is not uh, it's not ideal but but if you are hiding this in a document you wrote, you take in one of these passwords and you hide it in that document you wrote, and you print it out and you put it in your safe or you put it in a book or somewhere safe, 
that you like to hide in a safe deposit box, that's good. That's that's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't call that security by security, but technically it would be. But you're splitting hairs at that point because someone comes across a document like this. This is I, I just I have a document I copied off the internet and hit one of those passwords in here. If you read it, you can eventually find it. But it blends in. Like, where is it? I don't know. I honestly don't even know where I put it. It's in here, though. I know it's in there. Actually, it's right there. I found it. Ever seen a bagel drive it easy? If I didn't point that out to you, you probably would never picked it up on it. And it's hidden with all your files, maybe a file cabinet. This just blends in. And the beautiful thing about this is that you have your master password written down. Because you forget your master password to your password manager, you're locked out forever, which is the worst thing you can do. So make sure you write down your master password. Keep it somewhere safe. You can hide in a document like I've done here, print it out, keep it in the safe. I won't keep it. Uh, I won't keep this document on your computer uh, after I'm done with this. I'm going to delete it because I don't want to keep it. I want a physical copy because physical copies last. If you want to, you can put this in an envelope, hand it to someone you trust, seal the envelope up, let them hide it just in case there's a fire or something. You have an off-site copy of your master password, and I mean, and also too here. It's not obvious this is the master password to whatever password manager you're using and you don't have your um, Email for that account either. So it's a nice little way to hide this stuff but Then again, you can just use this and generate a couple passwords and Be clever just don't be predictable and this is how you make a good strong master password That's easy to type in naturally long the length is very important But what comes first is that it's unique because you never want to reuse passwords especially for your password manager. So once you use this uh, master password, you can never use it again. And if you ever need to change the master password again, don't go and change something slightly different. Don't go and change bulldozer made of felt temp lobsters and change that to, I don't know, I don't know, flowers? I don't know. Don't change it to something else by just changing one word. You want to change it completely, so you want to go to something else, like the saxophone trophy runs on Jello. So that's how you make a good, strong master password for your password manager.